You ready to go? All right, you guys, so here's the scoop. I guarantee you there's gonna be some arguing on this boat this afternoon. I'm out here with my dad and my little brother, Gabe. We say there's no competition involved, but everyone knows that's a lie. Man, what a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. And a day like today is what dreams are made of. If you actually get to see this footage, that means my camera has not fallen in the water. This is what we're looking at. Got these uh, little pink jig heads with a black eye and some green bodies. These are panfish assassins. That is, let's see. Yeah. I ain't. No, I'm not. <laughs> I am not. I am not your caddy. Get a bucket. Get me a bucket, then. You're in the way. I don't want to tilt the camera over. Go. Show y'all how we do this. Who put that other one in the? He's a up. There he is. Oh man, you bad. Hey. Look at that, y'all. Very few people even know what that is. That's a war mouth. Don't they say this is a hybrid between a uh, bass and a bluegill? Why are we moving the boat? The boat is drifting. Oh, Dad got one. Yeah. Dad and Gabe may have me on the whole jigging situation, but I was born to fish with live bait. He said he's not doing, you already got one. Holy mackerel. I'm telling you, man. Fishing like this, you can't take your eye off the ball. Because if you do, you've done lost them. These fish come in with a vengeance. Hey, beautiful white crappie. No, that's a black crappie. They're all black. The males are black and the females are white, but they're all black probably. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a slab, boys. You gotta try it in. Dad, Dad, this thing might be four and a half pounds. Come on, get out of there. Come on. Oh yeah, look at that rascal right there, boys. Yeah, look at that rascal. Gabe, mine eats fish that size for breakfast. See that? Take your minute just like that. Ah. That's what you're looking for. I just drop him off. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, son. This one right here is at least, at least a two pounder. Yeah. Uh huh. This one, this one. Woo. Y'all see what happened? I put them silly jigs down. Put on some actual real bait. That's what I'm talking about. Gabe, I like these uh, rod holders you got here. These things are awesome. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. Dude, Gabe, I got one spot over here where I've caught 40 pounds of fish so far. Dude, look at this. This right here, son. That, my friends, is what people call, what people call that right there, world class. Something needs to change. What are you talking I about? I can't do anything. I'm sitting in one spot and this ain't happening. Dad, why aren't you up here in the front with me? <laughs> I'm just going to sit here, I guess. If we're going to do this, I'm going to pull all my minnow rods out and minnow fish. All right, y'all. Gabe said we're jig fishing, which means we're jig fishing. I'm just telling you right now. Look at that big old Anhinga right there. Look at that, can y'all see that? Look at that giant Anhinga. Oh, he just jumped in the water. He's like, peace, I'm gone.
Son, he ate it on a drop. That right there was proper. We gotta call these jigs right here Sarah's birthday cake. Because that's, if you put sprinkles on her birthday cake, that's how she attacks it. Just jumps at it. Mm, they think, man, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Right out of the deep, thick stuff. Oh, that dog got him right there, son. I felt that, it felt like a snook just walloping it. Thanks, Joey. There he is. He made a mistake that time, didn't he? <laughs> he just did. I think it was going to happen. <laughs> Why? You just turned a probably 12 inch fish loose. Robert, you got. We, I want some plays. Dad! That fish was way legal. Well, I'm sorry, guys. I've turned over a new leaf. I've become a conservationist. Took myself. Yeah, right there. there he goes, Dad. He's probably legal. But... Nah, he's too small, Dad. Ten inches. That's a legal fish, isn't it, Gabriel? Yeah. Here. I mean, look at that jig right up in his lip. Why do you keep throwing keepers away? Gabe, we ain't. We're not here. We're not in the seafood business. I am. All right, well, you go fish in the back then if you want to turn things loose. Dad, why are you taking the whole front of the boat? Ooh, oh, the birds ain't real happy with one another. Birds like, get out of here. My spot. Yeah, see that Cheetos bag? This is my hole. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Dude! <laughs> That one was at least two and a half pounds. Oh, yeah. Anyway. I mean, jigging like this, all my bites have been like a foot deep. It's been like right there. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, whopper. Ooh, look at that. Right there, son. Jerked him on up. I look like one of them old time tuna fishermen just yanking and cranking. Look at that. Yeah, Pretty that fish. Put <laughs> him in the bucket. <laughs> Half your audience can tell you you're dumb for turning them loose. <laughs> Woo, son. I just set him in that one little hole. Ooh, look at that. I mean... They're thick if you're catching them. <laughs> He's a, you can turn him loose. A little 10, 11 inches is the best eating one anyway. That right there... I mean, we're blessed to be able to just sit out here and do this as a family. You know? about perfect. Dude, I mean, I don't even have a windscreen on my little camera. No worries. I can honestly say I've never fished in anything this thick in my life. I don't know which one of y'all <laughs> used the bathroom in your pants. <laughs> Dad, God. that mate. I'll tell you when I do it. I didn't know it was possible to actually fish in stuff like this. I just might have to use the big motor to get out. The heck? Oh. Come on! Why you got so much line out for? You fishing for cold eggs on the bottom? Well, Gabe, I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, look at that. Look at look at that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all, well, the sun's going down. It is a beautiful afternoon. Me and my dad and brother had a great time. We're actually gonna stay and fish a little bit after dark, even though it seems super warm. Once the sun goes down here in Florida, it gets straight up cold. It's humid. So when it's humid and, and that sun goes down, it gets cold. This is a this is a really nice little outfit I got from, from Frog Dogs. Super cool stuff. It's breathable, lightweight, packs into nothing. Keeps you nice and warm, keeps the wind off of you, but it's still breathable. There'll be links for it in the description below. So I'm gonna turn this into that. Gotta have a good knife. Ask any fish cleaner in the world what it takes to clean fish well. A, a sharp knife. B, practice. Coming right there. Always cut, the scales run this way, so you want your knife to slide in like that. Cut up the bottom, right up top there. Take your knife, run it right down the back, right out the tail. And then what I love about this knife, it literally, it rolls in your hand so well so you can transition. You can feel it well. Take your knife, go over the back, follow right up and around the, the rib bones there. Come right down here. Perfect, that's what you're looking for. There's the ribs, there's your filet. Then, just take your knife. It should come right on off. Perfect filet. We'll do it again on this side. Nice and gentle with your knife. Just follow the contour of the backbone. Voila. There's your fish. All right, you guys, we are in the kitchen. Time to make a sandwich. Now, I had never seen this done until I was over in the Bahamas with Chef. He used cornstarch. And then I'm going to season this up with quite a bit of pepper. And then, I'm sure you guys are shocked. I'm gonna use some original Everglades. Season that up. Take one piece of fish. Put it in there. All right, y'all. Now we are gonna take a sesame seed bun, some warm butter. Butter this bread up nice. Take one of our nice pieces of fish. Lay it right in there. Good. It's not too terribly hot. We just want it to cook nice and slow so it cooks nice and even. While that happens, take our buttered bun Put right on there, we'll toast it. Not too much. Provolone cheese, tomato, lechuga. There you go. Fantastic crappy sandwich. You know what they say, that ain't crappy. Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for this food. And Lord, please nourish it to our body and forgive us of our sins in Jesus' name. And be with Ashley today.
definitely be with little Ashley. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Alrighty. You guys. Looks good. Big old fat fish sandwich. I don't think, have you ever made fish sandwich? Like I don't think I have. Out of this whole time, I don't think you have either. Man, it looks good. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Wow. That cornstarch. We're the type of people who, if we're on the go, we always go to Wendy's and get a fish sandwich at Wendy's. This beats Wendy's. That's right. And what makes this special is that I was out with my dad and brother and caught it. We had a great time. Clean the fish right in the backyard of the home I grew up in, where I used to clean fish as a kid. It's all nostalgic and it all tastes good. Mm -hmm. And since I'm on here, if you finally go to DearMeatForDinner.com, we have new shirt designs, t-shirts, one long sleeve, and hats on the website right now. So check it out. Yeah, they're super, super affordably priced. Mm -hmm. It's all good stuff. I'm and really, I'm really happy with it. Yeah. They look really good. The designs are super cool. I don't even have one yet. <laughs> That's how new they are. So anyway, I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's springtime and we're going to be having a lot, a lot of videos. Got to get out diving, more turkey hunting, hog hunting, a little bit of everything. But you guys, that's all we got for you today. We go.